Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Friday, May 8th, 2020. So yesterday we had um, an employment number, job loss number, that uh, pushed us up to over 33 million folks out of work, and the market didn't care. The market rose, uh, most of the indexes rallying about 1% on the day. Although they didn't hold the morning or the daily highs, they did pull back by the end of the day. So what does that mean for today as we face a employment situation number out there, the big governmental number? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our comfy little office chairs and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, you know, I don't know if any of you guys remember the old movie Meatballs with Bill Murray, where he does his speech about it just doesn't matter. And that just keeps coming to mind right now. It just doesn't matter that we have earnings, uh, negative earnings growth. It just doesn't matter that we have 33 million people unemployed. It just doesn't matter. And that seems to be the case right now. It just doesn't matter. Um, we're rallying, rallying, rallying. Now, one thing I have to uh, point out here, and I think this is very, very important. Although we're continuing to show positive results um, in these charts, keep in mind that what we are doing here in the diamonds S&P 500 and IWM is we're actually locked into a relatively tight range. And I know this is probably frustrating for a lot of folks saying this just doesn't make sense. Um, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And um, I'm right there with you. But let me try to give you maybe some explanation because this question comes up to me virtually every day in emails and, and things. What's going on? How could this be happening? Well, you couple the fact that we have unprecedented governmental um, um, spending and um, tremendous, tremendously uh, accommodative FOMC uh, dumping trillions of dollars into the economy. And we have created a situation where, well, suddenly debt doesn't seem to matter. We don't care about how much federal debt we have as long as the market goes up. Um, we don't care um, that all these people are unemployed. That, that doesn't matter. And if you take a look at um, our four biggest companies um, out there, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Google, uh, Google L, you combine those companies together and what we end up with is um, an economy that's being propped up really by four companies. As a matter of fact, if you look at the S&P 500 right now, those big titan companies account for more than 20% of the entire S&P 500. Now, when we 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 have four companies accounting for the for the S&P 500, we're not really getting a true reflection of what's actually out there in the economy. And I'll show you a couple of things um, as we go along that might help you understand that. But um, it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting situation that we have going on here right now. And um, clearly the bulls remain in control of this market. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. The diamond's still holding up now, one thing I would tell you is if I draw this trend this way, we did kind of break the trend. We're, we're going sideways here in the market. And notice that our range in here is actually, well, it's because of the volatility of the market that we're getting these big price moves and it looks like almost nothing. Um, but there's a big range in here of about 1,000, 1,200 points on the Dow, but we're getting these little tiny doji candles showing up in here in, in the chart. So uh, we are locked into a relatively tight consolidation here on the Dow. Keep in mind that we're gonna gap up this morning. We're pushing this morning. The Dow futures are in complete defiance. Um, we don't care about jobs. They're just, we don't care and we're gapping up this morning. And I'm gonna say we don't care until all of a sudden we will care. 
Um, there is that does happen in the market where we just don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. And then all of a sudden it becomes the most important thing that we've ever dealt with. And all of a sudden we might care. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, we're rallying up in here and we're pushing against uh, price resistance in the chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages, we're still holding above our 50 day moving average. And right now we're just starting to see the very beginnings of that 50 day moving average starting to flatten and turn just a little bit. So a little bit of support coming into the market and particularly right in here, we could slip all the way down in here. And unfortunately, that's about 17, 1800 points in the Dow if we were to slip down there and drop through that level. Um, that would be a major problem. But we've got a big pullback that we could have in the market and still hold support. So kind of keep that in mind. We are holding this thing up and and it just doesn't seem to matter about any of these other things. The bulls want the market to move higher. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very much the similar situation. We're locked into a range here that's relatively tight. And notice that it is tightening up. Where we were a little bit wider here, we're now tightening up. This morning we're gapping up. We're going to once again test these levels up here that we've been pounding against for a little while, trying to break up, um, up through there. Perhaps today we do it, we just ignore the jobs uh, data coming out today in favor of you know the economy starting to reopen. So kind of keep an eye on that. Is it possible we could plow right on through, right up there to that 200 day moving average? Absolutely possible. So don't fight the trend of the market. You don't wanna be fighting the FOMC, you don't wanna be fighting the federal government. Um, and there is even the possibility that we could hear some news. There's the rumbling going on of a multi-trillion dollar uh, government stimulus plan um, trying to work its way through Congress. It would be it would be pretty common here lately. We get a really bad number, and just shortly after that, we get some kind of news blurb about some kind of stimulus or something on the way. So we could certainly rally more. Um, as we continue to to push hard on this market so you can see our trend is still holding here on the spy depending on how you uh, draw that even though the diamonds kind of slip sideways the trend is still holding here on the S&P 500 let's take a look at the Q's the Nasdaq going higher wiped out 2020 losses so we've clawed that all the way back we're back up here um, in positive territory for the year um, notice that we've been doing it with gaps and little tiny dojis that is showing that we have a little stress um, potentially occurring in the market and we're going to gap up once again this morning we're going to gap right into these resistance levels here in the chart as they continue to push really really hard on those big four titans um, they continue to rally and then last but not least is IWM now IWM is also holding above its 50 day moving average and it's continuing to tighten up this range you can see yesterday it didn't really participate all that much it's kind of the um you know it's kind of like the poor rented mule that just keeps beat being beat around here um um, tightening up this range, but we are gapping substantially up this morning here at IWM. Bulls are pushing hard. They just refuse to, to stop and they refuse to acknowledge anything on the employment, um, uh, employment side of things. So let's keep an eye on that. Bulls are in control and um, they want to continue to go higher. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is showing us more uh, declines here. And I suspect the gap up this morning will even break this low, will gap down, um, moving lower here in the VIX. At one point, we looked like we were going to uh, pick up and maybe rally into a higher low. That did not occur. We're maintaining the downtrend here in the VIX. Volatility and fear 
seems to be dropping out. Like I said, we just don't care. As long as that government money keeps flowing, we're going to continue to rally this mar uh, market. So let's watch this level right down in here. If we drop down into these 25 handles here, there's a substantial level of price support um, in the VIX right in there. So let's watch that. If we happen to drop, drop down into those, there could be a little bit of price support. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. Yesterday, we bounced back up. We had a couple periods in the day where it looked like we were going to slip lower, but we ended up bouncing higher on the day, uh, pushing up here in the S&P 500, and, or pushing up in the T2122. And this gap up this morning could easily bring us all the way back up in here where we might be looking at um, that bearish reversal zone uh, by the end of the day. So kind of keep an eye on that with that gap back up this morning. But here's the thing I was talking about that gives me a little bit of concern about what's going on. If we look at um, T2101, which is the absolute market breadth, um, of the market, we can see our problem that we've got going on here. Those big tech titans are lifting the indexes. Like I say, those big tech titans are now making up about 20% of the entire S&P 500. And their dominance in the NASDAQ is phenomenal. Um, they're really doing the heavy lifting here in the market. But what we are seeing here is the absolute breadth of the market continues to decline. We are in a downtrend in that absolute breadth. Now, we did have this little higher low here, but we're still pushing lower. What that means is that our indexes really are not reflecting the actual um, uh, condition of the economy because of those tech titans. So just keep that in mind. If if those tech titans start to slip, if there's some profit taking that comes into those, we could see the market um, turn south pretty quickly if everything stays like it is. So just make sure that you're planning yourself very, very carefully in this market. Now, one of the things we also want to remember is when we gap up in a morning and we're gapping up toward price resistance levels, we want to also remember that possibility heading into the weekend that we could see that uh, profit takers will take advantage of that gap up, sell a little bit, and um, we could see a little bit of risk off heading into the weekend. So keep that in mind. Be careful not to chase the morning open. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Our earnings calendar, or our economic calendar, I mean, our economic calendar only has this one item to really be concerned about today, and that's the employment situation number. Um, expectation is that it is going to show a historically bad number. Um, actually, almost tenfold of that of World War II, or the initial um, set off of World War II. So <laughs> uh, we don't care, <laughs> I guess it is. It just doesn't matter. It seems to be um, um, in the market. And like I said, it just doesn't matter until suddenly it does. And we'll want to watch that today when that number comes out. Perhaps the market completely ignores it, but at some point in time, we will have to address this unemployment situation and what it's actually doing to the economy overall. Um, on the earnings front this morning, we have a lighter day. We only have about 150 companies reporting earnings today. But we and we do have some notables that um, I'll go through here um, right now. Let's take a look. Um, uh, Bloomin' Brands, um, they're going to report today, um, maybe indicating just slightly higher this morning. These are holding up in a nice little trend, um, holding support levels in here. So if we do get a good report, I could certainly see Bloomin' um, move a little higher this morning. EXE. Um, is reporting today. Looks like it's indicating higher. Now, I can't tell you if that's just um, the big, whoops, EXC. Um, if that, I can't tell you if this gap up this morning is just the big gap uh, pushing things up or if they have actually reported um, utilities moving higher. Nice little dividend payer here if you're looking for something. Um, Hostess, Twink. 
those Twinkies. Who doesn't love a Twinkie? Twinkies moving up in here. Um, um, nice gap up this morning. It looks like Hostess did a good job during uh, the virus in selling more products. So looking pretty good there. KIM. KIM Real Estate. Um, REIT. Um, looking to go well bid ass spread it could open about where it is right now um, interesting little bottom pattern and it's going to be interesting to see how real estate handles um, this going forward uh, commercial real estate i think is going to be pretty well pretty damaged in all of this um, nbl nbl looking good here trying to move higher this morning noble energy energy has been really really strong oil and gas has been really really strong moving up uh, PPL, PPL um, is on the list this morning. No report on that. SWCH, and that is gapping higher this morning. Moving on up, trend holding up here. Everything is looking good in SWCH. And last but not least, VTR I have for a possible notable here this morning. Um, another real estate in healthcare looking like it's wanting to gap up a little bit this morning into some price resistance levels. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Uh, hopefully you um, are on the right side of this market. It's it's a difficult one to trade right now. It's a difficult one to understand um, what's going on here. Um, it doesn't really reflect, I think, the actual attitude of the country. But we are um, still bullish. So hopefully you've been on the right side of this. I want to wish you all um, a great weekend. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment, I truly, truly appreciate it. And guys, I just got to tell you, um, uh, crossing over 10,000, I never expected... Uh, I never expected 10,000 people would be watching, let alone 11,000. Um, and I, I truly am humbled by that. And I want to say thank you to everyone. I do the best job I can here to turn out good quality um, content without hype and without prediction. And um, I hope I hope you continue to appreciate that effort. And by the way, always feel free to uh, leave those suggestions if, the, if there's something you would like to see or maybe a topic you'd like me to cover. Um, I would be happy to do that. So please feel free to drop that into the comment section as well. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And I picked up several in here that that um, um, just over the last couple of days that um, I've been watching, there's more charts than you can possibly even begin to think about trading that have good quality patterns. Unfortunately, a lot of them are just still locked into tighter type consolidations. Now, APA was brought up by one of the members um, in Rightway Options, and you can see we've kind of slid sideways out of that trend, but we're holding this support in here. Now, unfortunately, APA has a pretty sizable percentage risk to a stop but other than that APA is looking good with that opportunity that we could break up into this gap and that's a substantial move if we could fill that gap here on um, APA so maybe one you want to put on your list and honestly pretty much anything in the oil and gas sector is showing some pretty darn good signs and continuing to hold up how long that can continue I don't know but they are holding quite well Another chart you might want to consider is Kroger. Now, Kroger has struggled along here a little bit, but as you can see, Kroger rallying back up, recapturing the support. One of the things that I always want to pay attention to is when a stock breaks a price support. They must recover and then prove to hold that price support before I'm going to be interested in the trade. So now Kroger has recovered. We just need that bullishness to show up in here, pushing it higher. And if you take a look at this morning, we're trying to gap up a little bit this morning here on Kroger. So keep that in mind. It might be coming back around. Um, how about this uh, CGBD? CGBD uh, moving up nicely in this trend coming out of this bottom. We pop through. And 
an alert. And I want to say that this has that possibility that this could kind of slide back over here toward the trend before it actually takes off much, but kind of keep an eye on that one. Could be looking um, uh, for more upside. How about PAYS? PAYS gapped up yesterday, uh, pulled back by the end of the day, but this is holding up nicely. And if we take a look right in here off of this trend, um, we can see that this may have that possibility of sliding over here toward that um, toward that trend before we take off. Also take note, significant levels of price resistance in this chart, but if it can break through this resistance right here, then we could pop up into this um, area right here. Could be a nice little move up, particularly if you trade it with an, an option. Glaxo, I mentioned this one yesterday, GlaxoSmithKline, I continue to keep an eye on, and one of the reasons is I like this this range pattern where we ranged right in here on the way down, we're ranging right here on the way up, and we've built this uh, pretty incredible um, inverted head and shoulders type pattern. We just need bullishness to show up in here. I don't know when or if it might show up, but I will be watching that, and you can see I have an alert on that chart. Um, take a look at X. X US Steel has been holding up well. Now I have to um, let you guys know that I actually own this. Um, so could be a little bit of a bias here um, on the trade. But what I like in this chart is we broke the downtrend, we're holding trend. This was my alert to get me into the trade. We pop through, now we're resting, pulling back toward that uh, toward that trend, I want to watch that for that next potential move higher. Might add to the position um, if that were to occur. Um, take a look at SQ. SQ moving up very strongly. There was the alert on that trade. Now we're pushing up here toward these high uh, limits up here. Be careful. Might be a reason to take some profits if you're in it. But any rest or pullback that continues to hold into the trend um, would look pretty darn good. So so more charts than you can potentially trade. We had good signs um, in gold sector yesterday with Newmont Mining, uh, Barrick Gold, uh, GLD itself holding up. Um, that could show us a little bit of concern about how far the market has run right now and when we start seeing uh, gold assets moving up, but kind of keep that in mind. And last but not least, take a look at AG. AG um, silver um, it's going to report here on 514 but AG nice little consolidating move or to trend showing bullishness and it's looking like it wants to go just a little bit higher this morning keep an eye on it we do have resistance above there may not be any kind of a big move in here but a very deliberate price action chart and one of the kind of charts that I like to look for. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Once again, I want to wish you an awesome weekend. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Everyone take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend.